What's up folks, it's Wednesday, and today we're talking about potassium. There are a couple reasons why I wanted to talk about potassium today. Number one, hydration or electrolyte products have become a bit of a trend recently. And number two, I still hear so much emphasis on cutting sodium without considering potassium intake. To begin, I'm a big fan of the trend towards hydration or electrolyte products. It's not that they didn't exist in the past, it's that the products that are coming out now actually have effective doses of things like sodium and potassium, and the two are very closely linked. In a nutshell, potassium helps regulate sodium in the body. So before we go drastically cutting vital sodium from our diet, it's important to understand, are we really talking about an excess of sodium here, or is it a deficiency in potassium? And historically, potassium supplements fell far short of your recommended daily allowance, so it was really better practice to just get potassium from food. However, now we are seeing products that are delivering 200, 300, 400 milligrams of potassium and getting us much closer to that RDA. Still, best practice to get most of your potassium from food, and no, bananas are not the best source of potassium. Decent, but here's a quick tip. Foods that are orange, apricots, sweet potatoes, carrots, and oranges are all great sources of potassium in addition to leafy greens. So take a look at the caption below and learn a little bit more about potassium. I'll talk to you soon.